Good shot into the gap. Squares ahead of mid-wicket. May find the rope. Does the early dive. It's costly. <laughs> well placed by Michael Bevan. Well, Neil McKenzie went down uh, expecting to slide a long way, but uh, unfortunately for him, he just dug into the turf. And to make it even a little bit more embarrassing, he finished up with the, uh, the dax down around his knees. deserves that wicket he's persevered but quite magnificently throughout the the afternoon the morning the innings and almost humiliating for the captain of Pakistan who's been involved in the run out of Yunus Khan and now finds himself spread eagled across the sumps in the most uncompromising and ugly dismissal Problem here, Tendoka. Well, he might still be in. This is absolute circus out there. There is an absolute circus. Take a breath, everyone, because you're going to have to see this in slow mo. The pitch by Razak and a little fumble as well. It's getting a bit damp out there, I think. And he's fumbling again. Oh dear. <laughs> Keystone Cops. They come back for three. They come for four in the end. So although he saved the boundary, he did manage to make four runs out of it. The crowd loved it. I bet the bowler didn't. He's with, with them. Murph. He's with them. <laughs> it all started with Murph down at the MCG. And there's a few of them can do with a bit of exercise too. Well, it's good to see some of the boys enjoying the tour. I know it's a bit of a hard grind you know, to work with, work with the people down there. That's it. I think that's good, Neil. I think that's good. I think he's done all right with that. I think Nasser Hussain can see, and he'll know, he'll know him well enough. Essex men together. They can enjoy this moment. They know the game is gone. Now he's working them harder. Classic. He's gone hard, and he's gone high, but the man's there, will he catch it, he's wobbling, no, he's nowhere, straight into the sun, and Stan gets two. Well, I've never seen Hussey panic under a high catch before, he seriously panicked there, he obviously lost it in the sun, he was looking straight up, and the ball was up there, look at this, just watch him move around, hand goes up, the other hand goes up, he's got no idea where it is. Oh dear. Oh dear. It's a second one a catch. That's a stunning catch. Sensational catch. He's celebrating. It's happening. The game isn't over. He sets off now. He's on his way. The earth short. What a catch. Oh, what a catch. The big man. He's off. And we get a dance as well. Then yesterday, not so today. No, dead ball. What is that? Now, what is that? It's a no ball. It was over the front. I don't know what's going on. I mean, that 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 typifies the frustration of the West Indies. I just can't understand this. That's something I haven't seen on a on a Test match field. I don't think ever. Down the wicket, and then what? A, what was that all about? As Tate starts his last over to Grant Lambert. <laughs> Not the best leave I've ever seen. He's actually given himself that much room, he nearly fell over backwards. I was just about to say, he hasn't been dismissed for the year. Well, we saw Graham Lambert throw his bat when he was trying to run. He may as well not have had one there. I'm not sure what he was... Just giving himself too much room. And... 
Probably not the best leave I've ever seen. Oh, there's a mix up. There's a oh, my goodness gracious me. You would not believe that that was possible. He got so excited. In came the throw. Perfectly good, too. He had all the time in the world. And have a look at the look on the face of the captain. Eddie Hemmings' throw was perfect. And Steve Waugh had given up. He wasn't, uh, he wasn't even trying to make his ground. Tufnell taking his eye off the ball. Oh, that's hit Eunice Khan just in the lower stomach. They're still struggling really technically to come up for a, a name that describes that area that isn't beating around the bush, isn't it? <laughs> He's bringing the spray out too. <laughs> That's not going to help, is it? It's going to make it worse. The cold spray. <laughs> well, the box might have to be as big. <laughs> I think Eunice has uh, refused the spray, and quite rightly so. so I'd just rather have a, a, a new abdominal protector, thank you. You can put the spray back in there, Dr. Riaz. Wonderful shot to reply. That uh, is a crisp off drive. They'll have to run him, I think. Maybe not. It just gets there. Uh, Mark Richardson. I'm quite sure what happened with the bat there. We'll have to wait and see. But that was a crisp blow through the offside. Whether he collided with somebody uh, looking at the ball, I'm not sure. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> He's still looking to run. The ball hasn't gone to the right. Good God, I've never seen that before. He's with, him. He's with him. He's with him. It all started with Murph down at the MCG. And there's a few of them can do with a bit of exercise too. Well, it's good to see some of the boys enjoying the tour. I know it's a bit of a hard grind. I think he's done all right with that. I think Nasser Hussain can see. And he'll know, he'll know him well enough. Essex men together. They can enjoy this moment. They know the game is gone. Now he's working him harder. Classic. <laughs> We're waiting for the last ball of this quite remarkable match. Steve Waugh needs to hit it for at least four. Keith Arthurdon needs to pin him down for less than that. Everything hinges on this. The series is level at two all. Here's the last ball. In the air, he doesn't get it. They've gone for one, they'll come for two. There's an invasion, and the return comes in. Madness here at border. Absolute chaos. Someone's gonna get injured out there. They're harassing the players. This is dangerous now for the players in the middle. Somebody snatched a bat. The police are out there surrounding Steve Waugh. He's been jostled and pushed. Oh, out. Inzerman's out now too. Monty Panasar deserves that wicket. He's persevered. 
football quite magnificently throughout the, the afternoon, the morning, the innings. And almost humiliating for the captain of Pakistan, who's been involved in the run out of Yunus Khan and now finds himself spread eagled across the sumps in the most uncompromising and ugly dismissal you could ever see.